Hey Internet, this is Crowman17 here. Uh, today I'm going to do an instructional video on how to reglaze a mill guard window. And uh, this is how we do it. So this is a single hung window. It's easier to get to reglaze the bottom sash if you remove it. So to remove the bottom sash, you pop these little metal clips out on each side. Raise the window panel all the way up. That releases the springs. Push it to the left, swing it out to the right, and your bottom sash is out. Okay, so to remove the insulated glass unit from the sash, this is a sash, this is an insulated glass unit. It's a dual pane insulated glass unit. So you get a stiff putty knife under the, this is the glazing bead. And to help protect it, you want to grab it with some pair of pliers, but maybe put a piece of cardboard around it, get the pliers underneath there, and you just got to yank it out. You do have to put some muscle into this. The first one's the hardest. It's going to damage the edge a little bit but you can just grab it with the pliers bend it back almost as good as new it'll be fine so like I said the first one's the toughest I'm right-handed I like to work right to left on these Make sure you get this in far enough when you pry, you're prying against the plastic sash and not the glass itself. The story here is we ordered all these windows and we got tempered and obscured when we only needed tempered and obscured for one window. So now we have to swap out the glass and that's why we're doing this. As you can see, they start coming out really easy once you get the first one going. Easy peasy once you get the first one. Okay, now you have to, they're held in with a double sided foam tape on the other side. So, in order to get the pane out of the sash, you have to break that seal. Just a nice, flat, flexible putty knife. Run it all the way around the perimeter. Basically just slicing through that glazing tape. Let it be noted that I am not a mill guard repairman. I'm just a carpenter. I'm sure there are a thousand guys out there who do this better than I do, better and faster. 
but I wasn't able to find anything on this on the internet, so I decided to make my own video. So, there, the paint is out. That's the window we're putting in. There's your sash without the glass. So, now we have to clean up the old glazing. Scrape off that foam tape. It's going to leave behind a, an adhesive strip, but that's okay, it's fine. The new foam tape will seal everything up. About how long should this take if this is your first time doing it? Well, it, it could easily take an hour for your first one. We're knocking them out at about 20 minutes a piece. Actual glazer or mill guard guy probably do it in about 10 minutes. Because that's all they do. There. Like I said, there's a little bit of the adhesive from the old tape still on there. That's fine. We're just going to put the new tape right over the old tape. This is double-sided glazing tape. Probably 7 16 wide, 16 inch thick. So, I'm right-handed. I like to start at the top of the sash. This is the top, this is the bottom. And I work left to right. Stick it down. Leave it just inside the edge. You don't want it hanging over the edge or you'll see it. It's white, it hides pretty well, but if it's sticking out past the edge, once you get your glass in, dirt and stuff will start sticking to it. You'll see it sticking out there. Butt your next one up good and tight. Bunch it up against it so you create a good seal. You don't want any air gaps between the two pieces of tape and get moisture or dirt inside it actually creates an air leak into the house every little bit counts the ideal is to have a seal Bunch it up against the old one, the first one. Run it right up to the last piece. Cut it a little long. That way you're sure to get a seal at that end. If you did get a gap, where would you rather it be? There's a gap I'd want it at the top, not the bottom. If it's a gap at the bottom, then you're gonna have a chance of water seeping in there. There are weep holes for the water to get out, but best not to have a gap at the bottom. So there's your sash taped up. So 
Okay, so here's the sash prepped, ready for the, for the, the insulated glass unit. What I've done is peeled the tape, started it in the corners, each corner, so that I can center the glass pane in the sash without it grabbing the tape. It'll give me a, a few seconds to adjust it and make sure everything's square. If you peel all that tape and try to stick it in there, as soon as this glass touches the tape, it's done, it's stuck, and you won't be able to pull it off. So I just start the corners to make it easy. Go ahead and slide the glass into the sash. There's roughly an eighth of an inch of space all the way around, so look for that eighth of an inch at your bottom corners. I just eyeball it. Okay, we're at about an eighth of an inch. Slide it in at the bottom. When this corner goes in, now it's touching the tape in that corner, so we're locked in center at the bottom. So just sight up this edge, make the reveal between the edge of the sash and the edge of the glass even all the way up before you touch it to the tape. Because these vinyl sashes are flexible, they'll move around on you. They won't hold a square, so use the glass to get your squareness. Okay, that looks pretty good right there. Touched it to the tape in the corner. Touched the tape in that corner. Glass is in, everything's square. Now you go to the back side. Grab your little tag into the tape and pull it out from behind the glass. Press the glass to the tape. Easy peasy. Stuck. Press it against the tape. It's in. Now you just have to put your glazing strips back in.